about to take a journey to a whole new world. You're about to experience the future today. Fame Fitness presents the next step, the best step in exercise evolution, the Orbitrek. With the Orbitrek, burn fat five times faster than walking with no impact. Get a total upper body workout, sculpt and shape sexy muscles. Get a total lower body workout, firm thighs and hips. And get a complete cardiovascular workout all at the same time. It's time to step up and over with the Orbitrek. Congratulations on making the decision to incorporate an Orbitrek workout into your life. One of the biggest reasons people stop working out is they don't see results. Well, I can assure you that this one workout is going to pay off, and it's one of the most fun workouts you'll have. I recommend working out on the Orbitrek at least three times a week for 20 minutes, and for your convenience, we've designed this tape for a 20-minute workout. After you've watched this tape a few times and you get the hang of it, you'll probably find yourself trekking while watching your favorite television programs, and time will fly by. Before we get started, let's talk about the arm bars. If you feel energetic today, well, lock them in the workout position and adjust their height to a good, comfortable level. If you want to take it easy today, then lock them in the stationary position. I'm feeling great today, so mine are in the workout position. Well, let's get started. Set your four-way function monitor at zero. Press and hold the button for the count of six. I like to keep mine in the scan mode. It automatically changes the display every few seconds, so I can see how far I've gone, how many calories I've burned, how fast I'm going, and how long I've worked out. You'll want to monitor your workouts so that you can compare them to see how you're progressing. Now turn the tension control counter clockwise to release any resistance. We're going to get warmed up first, so let's start with a nice, easy stride. We'll do this for three minutes. Now we're going to walk forward first, trying to fully extend or straighten your leg as you walk. With the Orbitrek workout, you'll get all the wonderful aerobic benefits of walking or running without the harmful side effect. There's no strain or pounding of the joints in the legs or spine. Now I want you to be aware of your breath. Try breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, you want to do this throughout your whole exercise, and any exercise that you do. You want to keep your breath even, and that'll help you with your strength and your endurance. Hold your abdominals tight. Make sure the tension is appropriate for your fitness level. That's very important. This is your workout. Three minutes is not very long. You having fun yet? I am. Now remember, if the arm tension is too much for you, just decrease the resistance. If it's too easy, just increase it. You can customize your workout with the Orbitrek. It's one of its wonderful features. What we're doing now is the warm-up. What the warm-up does is it prepares the body for the more advanced exercise to come. You'll start feeling your breath get a little bit heavier and you start feeling your blood really pump in. This helps prevent any injuries. It's important
important to warm up before this or any workout that you do. Now we're going to do the same thing going backwards. Now it takes a little coordination. Just pause, okay, and reverse. Here we go. Now it feels a little bit tricky, I know, but you'll get the hang of it. Really give your lower body a workout. Bend your knees for a thigh strengthening, fat burning workout. Do you feel in your glutes? I am. Now concentrate on your lower abs. Tighten them up. It's important. Keep breathing in the nose, out the mouth. Yeah. Now, if at any time you feel pain, stop. Okay, you don't want to feel pain with this. Now, if you're way out of breath, slow down. But try not to stop, okay? Now, if you stay consistent and you use the orbit check at least three times a week, soon you'll have no trouble keeping up with me. And you won't want to stop. Hang in there. to work forward again. Now remember how you do this. You want to pause, shift your weight so you're going down forward, okay, and get the groove of it. It might be a little tricky at first. That's okay. You'll get used to it. Now let's use some more arm strength. Don't want to forget about your upper body. You may wish to slow down and really extend your legs again. Okay, use that arm strength. Don't forget. Now the benefit of the orbit track is that it does use your upper and your lower body. If your legs are strong and you want to work your arms, just put the tension a little bit harder in your arms and use them. Let your legs relax a little bit. If it's vice versa, if your legs are a little bit weaker and your arms are very strong, you may want to keep the tension a little bit heavier just in the legs. Okay. If the arm bars are in the stationary position, just walk at a comfortable pace for the next two minutes. You should really start feeling it in your muscles in your legs. The muscle in front of your leg is called the quadricep. Okay, it's a four muscle group, okay? The back is the hamstring group. You should feel it through there. And also the glutes, or sometimes known as the buttocks. You may want to experiment by allowing your legs to relax a little bit and make your arms do the work. That's it. Let your legs just take a ride. Now push. Feel the triceps, that's the back of your arms. You want to engage those muscles, really think about it. This will tone up those flabby arms and give you great definition. Oh, this is wonderful. See, this is the beauty of the Orbit Track. You get both an upper body and a lower body workout at the same time. Okay, we're halfway there. Keep those abs tight, don't forget to breathe. Okay, you ready to go backwards again? Remember how to do it? Stop and push backwards, think about it. I know, it feels a little awkward at first, that's okay. 
It's very, very good for your body to work in different directions. Okay, so now we're going backwards, but we're still concentrating on the upper body. Okay, push with your arms. We want to pull back, feel it in the shoulders. Now when you pull back, you're going to be working more of your back muscles. The sides of your back, the muscle's called latissimus dorsi. That runs down the sides. Keep breathing. Do you feel it? Abs tight. Okay. Now let's go back to a, you know, a medium forward stride. So remember, pause and push forward. There we go. Keep it nice and easy. We're coasting. Use your arms and your legs. Okay, so we're going to do 50% coming, you know, the power coming from your upper body. 50% coming from your lower body. Take it easy. <sighs> Breathe. Now you should really start feeling your heart pump. And we're gonna keep our heart rate up. We're gonna be building that muscle in the buttocks, the legs, upper body. You feel that? Back of the thighs, front of the thighs. This is too easy, you know what you have to do. Increase the resistance, pump a little faster. I want you to really try to go the distance if you can, okay? Remember, any pain you stop, but if you're just out of breath, you just slow down. But you shouldn't be able to sing any opera. Now this tape is meant for people in reasonable shape. Now if any time you feel it's too much, as I said, slow down. Or if you feel you need more, come on, step up the pace. It's up to you. Okay, are you ready for the sprint? Okay, here we go, we're gonna sprint. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go real fast for one minute. Okay, we're gonna really kick it up. Now I want you to regulate your breathing. All right, let's go. Now don't just let those abs hang there, hold them in. Stay nice and erect, use your arms, use your legs. Keep going, there you go. Face yourself. Don't worry, nobody's watching you. Blood's pumping. It's only a minute, it's only a minute, you can do it. We're almost done with the sprint. Just a little bit more. Let's slow down just a little bit now. Back to a medium stride. Let's stay at this pace for about three minutes. Really take your time now, slow it down. The reason we're doing this is that when you do a high intensity interval like that, you burn sugars. You know, the kind that are readily available in your muscles. By the end of your workout, you're burning more fats. So when you're sitting around post-exercise, the caloric combustion is fat calories. So <laughs> the bottom line is, you'll take the fat off your bottom line. <laughs> okay, now this is an easy, nice medium pace. Remember, we're still breathing here. You probably feel a little winded from that sprint, but that's okay. 
three minutes. We're almost there. What are you gonna get from the Orbitrek workout? First of all, you're gonna work on your cardiovascular system. I think by now, you've read it in the news and everything else how important that is. Okay, it's great for your heart, lungs. You're gonna see fat loss. Provided, of course, you don't go have a chocolate fudge cake when you're done with this, okay? It's very important also to keep your, your fat level down, your diet, and have a, a moderate caloric consumption. You're gonna see muscle toning. three times a week, 20 minutes at least. You'll see results in no time. You've got to be feeling great. We're almost in the home stretch. See, this wasn't that hard. Okay, let's get ready for the cool down. Now, to cool down, we're gonna slow down just a little bit. Remember in the warm-up how we wanted to actually warm up your core body temperature? Well, in the cool down, we're doing the same thing. So we take you up gradually. We stay up in that nice target heart rate. We're really working, really getting those great results, those great aerobic benefits. Okay, so we peak. Then we come back down to our cool down. that just started working out, you may want to cool down a little bit longer because I, I really do want you to feel your breath get to a more normal pace, feel like you're in control. Others, 
You may not have to cool down as long. Okay, let's slow down and come to a stop. And we're gonna start our stretching section. Gently step off your orbit track. We're gonna start stretching. I wanna work on the hamstring. Shift back one leg, doesn't matter which one, okay? Buttocks go straight back, head stays high, chest up. Really push the buttocks back. You're gonna feel in your hamstrings, back of the leg. Now pull the toe up. Okay, it's gonna shift down toward the calf or the gastrocnemius muscle. Still feeling the hamstring. When you're ready, toe down, roll up. Other side, one leg out in front, hands on the opposite side. Pushing back, head up, chest nice and high, abdominals tight. Push back, feel the hamstring, opposite leg. Good, breathe. Great, bring the toe up, let it shift on down now to the calf a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, good stretch. Toe down and round up. Wanna work on the quadricep, that's right here. So hold on to the handrails just lightly, if you need to, for balance. Your balance is gonna get really good on the orbit track. So we've picked up the toe now. We've tucked the hips under, holding those abs tight, chest nice and high. Let that breathing come down and push the hips forward. Okay, I might be a little bit tough at first, but really try to push the hips forward. Feel that stretch in the quad. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side. I just wanna hold on to the handrail on the other side now for a little bit of balance, okay? We gently lift up. Take your time with this. Again, I like you to bring the, the legs together. Pelvis goes under, abdominals tight. Pull a little bit high, feel that stretch? Feels great. We hold a lot of tension in the quads. Really hold it. Now the more you push the hips forward, the more you're gonna feel it, so take it easy. Course your own pace. We don't need heroes. Okay, let the leg come down. Let's do a stretch for our lower back. Just leaning forward, hands on the thighs for support. There you go. Heads high, chest up. Round that back, lower back stretch. Ah, feels good. Arch. One more time, round. Yeah, arch. Gently roll up. Big stretch, big breath. Ah, guess what? It's over. You've done it. As you become more comfortable with the orbit track, you'll be making up your own routines. If you haven't worked out for a while, you'll begin feeling and seeing results in no time. And if you're an athlete already, you'll find your orbit track workouts to be a great way to cross train. Don't forget to drink lots of water. See you soon. <laughs>